Previously on the Chronomancers. Oh, oh shit. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, it's kind of help. Huh? I think it's a bit late for a Would you like to know more? Beat by Tom Bay. the main character seems dead, this is a good time to ask you what you think of the movie so far. Check up. It's, it's very, like, patriotic, if I could say so. But, like, in a very dumb kind of way. But it, it kind of gets you in uh, eventually. I don't know. I felt I felt myself becoming patriotic a bit. Like, in the <laughs> movie sense. But not, like, you know, in real life. Just, like, in, in that fake... Uh, world Pardon? so um i was actually so i'm actually surprised because you know well following robocop i know there's a 10 year difference but i was still kind of expecting the special effects to uh be just as over the top and goofy but i'm actually surprised it's actually it fits pretty well and it's not you know it, it's it, it's it's a bit over the top in some parts but it's actually not too bad and it's, it's not as overtly funny as uh, robocop was in terms of you know just being silly and you know, a little too much. Yeah, I kind of agree with you. It's like Robocop, they were insisting on how you were supposed to find it a little humorous. This, the humor is in you, if you find this sort of thing funny. Tama, what about you? What do you think of the movie so far? It's awesome. <laughs> I really like this movie. It's goofy, it's gory. Uh, the effects are really cool, really well made for a 90s film. Uh, I mean, it's pretty cool. Uh, the the main character just died, so I'm uh, really wondering what will happen. And Zach, what do you think of the movie so far? I really like it. I like uh, a lot of the actors in there. I I think it's a good choice of actors, and maybe they weren't even known before that movie because it's no, not really. But I really like them, and I like the the kind of the backstory for the video game I've been playing. It's, uh, it's really funny, really fun. I'm enjoying myself. Well, if you like the night scene of the aliens roaming the land trying to kill them, I can't wait to show you what's next. But first, I just want to say this. This movie blew my mind away at the time, with its gloriously pompous military music in the background and its weird insect aliens. But not everyone else appreciated the film as much as I did upon its release. For example, did you know that I actually lost relationships over this movie? No, really. People I knew hated this film so much at the time, claiming that it was too pro-war and that it reminded them too much of World War II fascism, where everyone was pretty, blonde, and blue-eyed. Well, I tried to defend the movie away by saying that that was exactly the point of the director. The film was actually criticizing all those things. Needless to say, these people and I do not speak anymore. Oh, and did you notice? Our heroes, Carmen and Johnny Rico, both look very white for young folk who come from Buenos Aires. In fact, with the exception of the veteran soldiers who are all mangled and amputated, everyone who's in this movie is gorgeous and often with luscious hair and wide expressive eyes. Those young wannabe citizens of the world are all beautiful and brave and entirely devoted to the cause. Brainwashed, really. The future of our society sent to be torn to shreds like so much cannon fodder, thrown at the merciless claws of faceless, dehumanized enemies like racial slurs of old, and who face immediate capital punishment should they choose to flee combat, or if proven to be unpatriotic or not devoted enough to the cause. Sentiments that, unfortunately, seem to have had a resurgence as of late. A feather proved that Verhoeven was slightly ahead of his time with this movie. Or that we, as humans, 
haven't learned much in that area over the course of the last 25 years. And now, on with the show. A lot of dead. Leadership cast, a high brain. Brain bugs. Frankly, I find the idea of a bug that thinks offensive. This is a heated argument. He looks like a bug that thinks. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's why he's defending it so much. Doesn't want humans to know their secrets. I thought we were smarter than the bugs. There's almost no wounded at all. Bugs don't take prisoners. Hey, I ain't. Huh? It's ready! Hey! What is going on? It's a Bacta tank! <laughs> They're gonna turn him into Robocop. That's why. <laughs> Robocop 2.0. It all comes together. I don't understand. It allows his body to heal. It, no, I understand that, but. They say how he's did dead. They go and take his body back. So, what do you hear about our new unit? We've been besides BK. Outer Ring, Zagama Beach. Zegamovich, I always wanted to go there. Good luck. It's not there anymore. So I hear your lieutenant's a real nutbuster. No one talks about the lieutenant that way. He saved my life. Mine too. Who do you think saved your ass? Stand by. The teacher? I have one rule. Everyone fights, no one quits. If you don't do your job, I'll shoot you. You get me. We get you, sir! Welcome to the Roughnecks. Ratcats, who up next? At ease, listen up. Got a new Sky Marshal and a new battle plan. Before we hit Tango Urilla, after fleet blasts the planet, MI mops up. Carry on. a real explosion that really came at the camera and there's nowhere to hide your special effects it's in broad daylight in a desert
bug smasher. <laughs> nice moves. Where'd you learn how to do that, soldier? Back in school, sir. Don't you remember? I was captain of the team. Rico. Sir. I need a corporal. You're it until you're dead. Or until I find somebody better. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Wait, you know, corporal? <laughs> I need a squad leader. Oh, no. No, I've been there and blew it. I'm just here to fight. What about it, Des? Looks like I'm your girl, sir. Party. Yeah. Was listening. <laughs> we bent the back, being like, "Is he saying yes?" What a creep! He's <laughs> <laughs> staring at something like weird. <laughs> ay ay ay! This one's for you guys. <laughs> Second time he's been asked that. This time we get to purple. see it? Yep. Oh boy. Watching a sex scene with the boys. <laughs> Missing is the violin guy just sitting in the corner watching them. <laughs> <laughs> that would be very good. You guys go Everyone ahead. I'll, I'll just be watching in the corner. Every once in a while, make... just plays with the melody. <laughs> that would make the sex scene ten, ten times better. The tattoo says "Death from Above." She can say it. I know he doesn't. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's Both the hurts. yeah. That's the way of life. Isn't it just? Been a distress call from General Owen on Planet B. So get your shit wired and report in ten minutes. Yes, sir. Who's that with you? Chloe, sir. I get twenty minutes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we can do it. That's crazy. Man. You should want to go to war. <laughs> There's a distress call, you know, we're in the middle of a war, but you guys take your time. Yeah, exactly. Priorities. Wings? You should, you should have just called that out. The moment he saw it, kind of something. Whiskey outpost, whiskey outpost, this is Roughneck 2 0 on. <laughs> oh! Oh! Sugar, your weapon. Oh, help me! <laughs> I'd expect anyone in this unit to do the same for me. Rico! Sir, your acting sergeant, move him out. You are the lieutenant! Saddle up! Oh, this is gonna be fun. Beat by Tom Vay.
this is literally hell divers. Yeah, it looks like that. Yeah. yeah there's like these stations with cadavers everywhere. Jeez, someone really humped the bunk. Watkins. Sir. Who says that? Lieutenant, I think you're gonna want to see this. What does that look like to you, Rico? Looks like, like a hole in his brain, sir. Just like us. They want to know what makes us tick. They want to know us so they can kill us. Mayday, Mayday, this is Roughneck 2-0 to battle group. Do you read? Oh, God! Oh, We're gonna die! <laughs> We're all gonna die! <laughs> Control yourself, General. I can't! I wish you'd just shoot! Uh, Get it! He's just a little out of his mind, sir. <laughs> Warm it all up! Everything you've got! Come on, you hate! You wanna live forever? Oh, 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 oh. I should have shot him before. Come down on this transmission. So the outpost? That's crazy. Well, I hope you have a crazy pilot. Out. Oh. I wonder if it's gonna. He has legs after this. You're a prophet! Did she stop? No. Oh. Hey, 
he's okay. Just scratch. No, oh, why'd you remove it? <laughs> Courage to make the safety of the human race their personal responsibility. Dizzy was my friend. More than that, she was a citizen of the Federation. Who's in? Uh! sent them anyway? Every day I have to make decisions that send hundreds of people like you to their deaths. Didn't they tell you, Colonel? That's what the mobile infantry's good for. We're going back to P to capture that brain. I hear they need a new lieutenant. Want the job? I'll take it. Until I get killed or you find someone better. Take care of yourself, Johnny. I'll see you again. He went from corporal to sergeant to lieutenant. Beat by Tom Bates. <laughs> One rule. Everyone fights. No one quits. Don't do your job, I'll kill you myself. Do you get me? We don't deserve! Welcome to the Roughnecks. Rico's Roughnecks! Travel uh -huh. up! They didn't need the emergency button this time. <laughs> There's no room in the budget. Look at that! The center can die.
That's not good. Such a position and situation. Yeah. We're in Bug City, 20 meters underground. Position. South 42 East, 118. Situation is. Situation is dead. <laughs> I do, she's already dead. Sorry, buddy. Rock next. Let's move. <laughs> Why didn't they kill us? <laughs> they want us alive. He's using the force, that's why. Yeah. I need two volunteers. Of course. <laughs> why is that all the officers that are going? <laughs> is that the queen of the nest? The elder brain? <laughs> Like a juice box! That's actually really nasty. Ouch.
Come on, come. Scientists are working around the clock to probe its secrets. Once we understand the bug, we will defeat it. <laughs> we have the ships. We have the weapons. We need soldiers. Soldiers like Lieutenant Stack Lumbridge. We're in target area now, Captain. And Captain Carmen Abanez. This is the Captain speaking. All personnel now prepared for drop. Soldiers like Private Ace Levy and Lieutenant John Rico. Come on, you ain't you wanna live forever! We need you all. Service guarantees citizenship. I wonder if this is what the movie warns against, but I think I'd join. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> it looks pretty fun. They're, they're pretty convincing, yeah. I would say so as well. Like, I, I'm sold. Yep. <laughs> it was a pretty good movie, honestly. Yeah, really fun. Wow. It's kind of fucked up overall, but it was really good. I felt yeah, bad for the, the bug brain. Brain bug. <laughs> Especially what they were doing to it at the end. That, that yeah. I don't know what they were censoring, but... So, Zim, the guy who ends up a private at the end, was in fact in Shawshank Redemption, and he also played the bad guy in Highlander, another movie we might see one day. He also plays a very important character in their video game, Detroit to Become Human. He plays a, a, a cop, that hates androids, but depending on your uh, decisions as the android, uh, he can either really like you or like you get you can change his mind about androids. Oh. And he's a very important character, and I liked him a lot in that game. And that, my pets, was the second of the Paul Verhoeven flicks I wanted to show you on our channel for the moment. The stunning action war flick called Starship Troopers. Well, what did you think? Did you enjoy the movie? Yep. It was quite a good movie, honestly. I mean, I enjoyed it coming in. I was expecting it to be a little more over the top and, you know, more goofy. And But, I, I, no, I really enjoyed it. I was pretty captivated in some parts there. Yeah, it really gave me uh, Helldivers 2 uh, vibes the whole entire time. Because the, yeah. the escape and all the explosions and the bugs and quantity. 
it was great. It was just a lot of fun, and I'd watch it again, for sure. No I have to hear it. I'm dumb up? Uh, yep, it was really good. I really liked it. What did you think of the characters? Did they seem too perfect, too innocent, or was it just right? I believe they were just right. They all had uh, great personalities and just some quirky sides. I really like this movie. Yeah, I mean, I think at the beginning, especially at the Academy, they get, give off a lot of vibes of, you know, they're just, you know, just good looking and, you know, it's going to be one of those stereotypical kind of things. But I think they kind of, during, as the movie went on, you kind of saw the other side of it and their flaws and you know, as actual humans. I like that uh, Rico kept uh, reusing uh, sentences that Ira up stole them before in the movie. Like the part where he uh, he says, if you don't do your job, I'll shoot you. You get me. We get you, sir! Welcome to the Roughnecks. Ratcats, Roughnecks! <gasps> Welcome to the Roughnecks. Rico's Roughnecks! <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you hate! You wanna live forever? <laughs> oh yeah, that one as well. <laughs> it, was, so, it was really over the top overall, but it was really good. And how did the... I don't know if I should say message, because I think it denounces it, but it also glorifies it at the same time. Now you might understand what I mean. When this movie, not the book, when this movie came out, people didn't know if it was making fun of that or if it was saying it was the best outcome. Beautiful people treating bugs as if they were inhuman, but realizing in the end that they're just like us. They want survival. What, how does any of this make you feel 25 years later? Oh, well, they're still oh. doing it in L Divers too. I mean, I've been playing a lot of that game and it's a lot of, uh, for democracy, for liberty, and it's very over the top. And I feel like in both cases, it's pretty obvious that it's making fun of it because of how I'm much it's so. doing it. I agree with that. I feel like, uh, you know, the, 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 the whole movie is like, glorifying war a bit but at the same time like I, it, it doesn't mean you want to partake in it it's just funny and you know there's those very nice moments but it's also at at some point it's just really over the top and like it's, it, it comes back to being dumb in the end like with the scene <laughs> where they they probe the big brain and he's just like what the fuck it's a fray also the the ads not the ads the website thing would you like to know more it's yeah. kind of showing how uh, military recruits and they're like, do you want to know more? Like, this was just us. at the beginning of the internet, by the way. It's very avant-garde. It, it predicts what stuff would look like. He reused some of the same tricks from Robocop and it works here as well. I love it when he does that. Yeah, and on one thing too that you I mean you touched on, that I think at the beginning, the, the themes of fascism and things like that, like when the... Uh, Towards the end, when the, the uh, military intelligence showed up, it got very serious oh, yeah. vibes from the so just from the costumes, and you can tell that that's the kind of the, the the theme and the vibe that they were going for with them is you know they're you know they're the scientists you know the secretive kind of things and kind of makes you wonder. They weren't just trying to get the bug brain just to, you know, for the betterment and, you know, to save people. Like, what, what else are they going to be doing with that? They're not going to tell <laughs> They also said that they were here to, like, be the ultimate race or something. They'll be the, yeah. the one race that prevails. To ensure that human civilization, not insect, dominates this galaxy now and always. We will eliminate all of you like the bugs you are. That's propaganda. That's what you talk about when you talk about other countries invading your own. You say they're bugs, they're cockroaches.
if by some esoteric and highly magical means this movie were ever adapted into a real-life Dungeons & Dragons game, which character would you play? Come on. Well, I would play Sim. Nice choice, I approve. Pretty cool. I would obviously play one of the scientists. Like, I don't see why you would want to go on the battlefield and potentially die anytime. Jordan, yeah. which one would you play? Uh, I would play Ace because he started <laughs> out as a douche and slowly redeemed himself as the movie went along and he actually managed to survive by the end, which I was surprised. Do you remember the game Street Fighter? Yeah. Do you remember the character named Guile? He was a guy wearing the camo pants from America with a blonde crew cut. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He has, yeah. <laughs> Ace has the exact same haircut. It came out after Street Fighter, so it might have to do with that. And Zach, who would you play if you could play this as a D&D &D game? Uh, I think I'd play the character played by Neil Patrick Harris, another scientist. <laughs> you don't want to be one of the pilots? <laughs> I, I didn't like the uh, pilots very much. Uh, I know. <laughs> they I, died the horrible deaths. Well, that'll be it for me this week, my pets. I hope you've all had a good time with us. Let us know what you think in the comments below as we read all of them. Also, go check out our Patreon, where you can find all of our original episodes, uncut and uncensored, available exclusively to our precious, precious Patreon voters. So, be sure and come back next time, my sweets, for more of our special movie reviews. And until then, if you have people you love back home, please take care of them. And if you don't, and if you have no one, please take care of yourselves. Have a great week. Stay safe, stay brave, and do the do. Bye. Also, our footage got corrupted, and you might not see the whole episode. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>that there used to be some women on board. I used to know a woman. I've seen cats. Attends, on commence avec Jacob, s'il vous plaît. Tu veux dire ça, mais moins poisson. Plus qu'un poisson. I used to know a woman. Well, I've seen cats. I keep telling you, there's never been any women on this ship. Okay, so me moins for she met you. I keep telling you. <laughs>
Well, so guys, what did you think of the movie? You know my intro was too long when everyone has to go away for a few minutes. When, when they already need a bathroom break. <laughs> yes. Moi, je dis juste, c'est juste random. J'ai commencé à pisser le sang, puis je sais pas qu'est-ce qui m'a coupé. T'écoutes les films de façon hardcore. C'est les commentaires de tranchant de même. Oh, oh. <rire> nice one. Vous <rire> avez juste avec OBS, puis si, si mon ordi ferme, puis que j'ai pas arrêté le recording, on perd le recording. C'est jamais arrivé à date, ben c'est quelque chose qui peut arriver si je manque d'électricité ou... Ah, c'est vrai, j'avais pas pensé à ça. Je trouve que c'est bien aussi de faire des mi... Euh, ouais, c'est bien que ce soit toi qui l'enregistre puis pas avec mon système d'internet parce que sinon, à toutes les 15 minutes, ça... Also, our footage got corrupted and you might not see the whole episode. Bye! <laughs> <laughs>